you have to put my whole hand in there. That's a large pocket. And it runs all the way to the bottom of the bag. Microfiber on the inside of there. Zipper is still, oh, 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 oh. No, but pretty smooth. <laughs> it's pretty smooth. <laughs> back to Coop. Coop is a place where we talk about travel, lifestyle, luxury, and everyday entertaining. I am so happy to be with you today. If you're interested in that type of comment, please like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Okay, so you saw the title and we are talking about one year of me having my pochette Matisse. How has it been? How has it done? How has it worn for me? And so I got this one year ago when I was in Paris. And so here she is. And so, you know, I had experience when I bought this bag with other Louis Vuitton bags because I had um, a Neverfull G GM. I have the multi pochette. I have the, I'm looking, <laughs> you see me looking this way. I'm looking in my bag room. I have the, um, I have one vintage bag that I'm not sure of the name of. I also have the Neo Noé and the, and I also have the on the go tote in the GM size. So when I went into the flagship store um, on Champs Elysees, I uh, wanted to get a pochette Matisse in monogram. So here she is. This is the bag that I purchased. Um, and there are a lot of videos on the Pochette Matisse. Wonderful everyday bag, goes with everything. Uh, it opens, of course, like this, by pressing in the two buttons and you open it here. And you see the monogram also on the inside. Um, it does come with a shoulder strap or crossbody strap, which I do use in the case of this bag because it's wonderful for hands-free when you're out shopping, when you're out and about doing things. It's wonderful as a crossbody, wonderful as a uh, shoulder bag as well. So that just attaches to either side on these do rings. I really love, let me just talk about one of the things that I really love about the wear on this bag. It's done me well. And I hear people talk about nightmares with the pochette Matisse, and I know that that does occur. Um, but I haven't had any problems out of this bag, thank goodness, and I really love it. Um, and so I really love the color of my Pachetta. The way that the color came in, uh, of course, you know, when you buy bags that have Pachetta, when you first get them, it's very, very, you know, pale and white and bright. Um, but this came in, it's just a beautiful honey color, even here on the tab as the colors change and even here on the side. Oh, I love the way the color came in. It came in just beautifully. I'm very pleased with that, I'll tell you. It makes the bag look really, really good. Um, there's definitely some wear and tear on the bag. Of course, these are coated canvas. Um, and on the inside, I love this. There's the three pockets and the zipper is microfiber on the inside. And of course, we also have also a Vachetta pretty much close to the same color of when your Vachetta first comes in, that color. Cause it's not exposed to the elements. So it kind of stays the same store-bought color, but as compared to that, ooh, that's pretty. Anyway, <laughs> it has three pockets carries an awful lot and I carry an awful lot in it. And it has a zipper pocket. Is that right? Does this have a zipper pocket? I lie. It does not have a zipper pocket on the inside. It has a zipper pocket on the back. <laughs> so you can see, which is also quite large. See, I put my whole hand in there. That's a large pocket. And it runs all the way to the bottom of the bag. Microfiber on the inside of there. Zipper is still, oh, 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 oh. No, but pretty smooth. <laughs> it's pretty smooth. 
Okay, so we have the three sections. I'll show you again way here in the back back. There's a section. Good for any thin items because it sits really close to the bag. You have the biggest pocket in the middle. That's where you put all your big stuff. And then you have a slightly narrower pocket in the front. And you can see that it just like kind of accordions on the side there. It's so cute. This is cute dressed up or dressed down, quite frankly. You can carry it as a tote like this. You can carry it with the strap, which is the way that I carry it most often. I just store the strap inside and it closes just like, I have to make it face me so I can close it properly. It closes just like that. And of course you have the beautiful LV logo there. And I'm assuming that says, look, I need my reading glasses. I, I believe it says Louis Vuitton Paris. Yeah. So let's look at this. Let me see how the wear and tear, I can see a little bit of tarnishing on the metal here. I'm guessing that's gold plating and not real gold. So I can see a little tarnishing, which I feel like if I get my Tarnex and my toothbrush, I can clean up a little bit. So that's after a year, probably just from the oils from my hands, opening and closing the bag. Um, other than that, I'm not seeing many issues, is focusing with my wear and tear, with the basting still looks pretty good. I've carried this bag a ton. There looks like a tiny scratch there. But everything is still looking pretty good in terms of the wear and tear after the after the first year. Ooh, that bruschetta, it just it's singing to me. It looks so good. You see that? Yeah, this is still in great shape. I imagine I will be carrying this for many, many, many years to come. Um, I love this bag. I'm really happy with it. And I can't, I, I can't give a bad review based on my experience, even though I have seen bad reviews on this bag. So if you're interested in getting this bag and you don't have this bag yet, um, I definitely say look at a lot of videos, the good and the bad, and make the choice for yourself. But I will tell you, it has been great for me. It's a great everyday carry, holds a ton, and I love the pochette Matisse. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.